Hello Bloggineers, we are at Cheyenne Mountain Resort in Colorado Springs and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. Our first stop is Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. The first section is Africa. Over here you can feed the giraffes. This is the lion's fingernail and tooth, and they're pretty much the same size. Imagine if my fingernail was the size of my tooth. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Look at that big chunks of poop there. Is that an elephant? It just poops so big. Oh my. <laughs> We're on the sky bridge and we have a great view of Colorado Springs. You can see Cheyenne Mountain Resort. It's that big lake. This is an African elephant. You can also tell that they're African elephants because their ears are kind of shaped like African. <laughs> see that rhino? It's a fake rhino. Next, we're entering the Australia walkabout. So in this Australia exhibit, they let eight wallabies just roam around along with all the people. And, and I love how the wallaby just hops around. It's so cute. I'm gonna trick the goat by uh, putting food in it. Like, get out of here. Oh. Okay. to put food. The goat got tricked. Now the goat is mad at brother for tricking him. This one has by far the most mist. Wet. Wet. <laughs> ah, I got it too wet. I would, I would come back to the zoo just for this. It got so wet. It's like I got a shower. This is the hugest fan of all. Lastly, we're gonna put our quarters into these machines which will go towards animal conservation. You can choose from many different animals. I think there's like a total of 12. And the first one I'm gonna put my quarter in is the wild African elephants and rhinos because I know a lot of African rhinos are endangered. I'm gonna do one to the orangutan since they're in danger. And that is the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. I think it was really cool that there's stuff you can do here such as feeding the giraffes. In particular, I really liked the wallaby exhibit because the wallabies were roaming around us the whole time. I like the goat exhibit where the goat was staring at. <laughs> yeah, brother tried pretending to put food into the goat's thing and then bringing it up and then the goat got really mad and I think if we were to encounter the goat again up close then the goat would probably remember brother especially if he wears this blue hat and brother might get attacked because that goat was not happy. This is one of the best zoos I've ever been to so you must come here if you're in Colorado Springs. And as a bonus, throughout the zoo, there were so many mist stations. Oh, I want mist right now. It's so hot. Now we're checking out Penrose Heritage Museum. First, we're looking at some historical vehicles. And these are some of the oldest cars and carriages in the world, such as this one. Made by Studebaker Company. I recognize that name, Studebaker.
This is a pony cart, and these things are probably headlights. They could put like a candle in there. Now we're going to move from the historical vehicles to the modern day cars, race cars. This is the hill climb, which is an annual race where they race up Pikes Peak, which is like 14,000 feet in elevation. So you start at the toll gate. This is already 9,000 feet. Oh, the start line is here. And then it's a curvy road all the way. Super curvy over here. Oh, this is the tree line. So I guess above this point, there's no trees. And then, whoa, so many hairpin curves. Devil's Playground all the way to the finish line. And this is a real car wreck that happened during the Pikes Peak race. I think it fell off a cliff. And now we're gonna go on the curvy road up to Pikes Peak. We made it to the top. This is the trophy for winning the hill climb. And this one was from 1925. Whoa. 18 minutes and 15 seconds to go up Pikes Peak. That's pretty bad. No, but the Pikes Peak Highway is like 18 or 19 miles. So that's an average of 60 miles per hour with all the curves. And that is the Penrose Heritage Museum. Brother, what did you like about this place? My favorite car was probably that one that was trying to go up Pikes Peak but flipped over on the road. And, and they showed the wreckage, yeah. But they also showed a lot of other race cars and I really liked the Pikes Peak exhibit because it had a lot of local information since Pikes Peak is just a few miles away. And I never knew about that race, but it seems kind of crazy that all the cars have to go on those tight curves and they could fall over at any moment. On to the next stop. On to the next stop. The next stop is Seven Bridges Trail. To access this trail, you have to get directions to the Seven Bridges Trail parking lot. Otherwise, you could get tremendously lost, like we almost did. And once you get to the parking lot, you have to hike more than half a mile just to get to the trail itself. And then from there, it's like five miles if you want to see all seven bridges. But I think we're just aiming to see one today. Apparently, we've been told that the trail is not obvious. And at some point, we'll have to turn right, so hopefully we don't miss it. I can hear water sound down there, so... Yeah, we're kind of close to the river, I think. All right, this is Trail 622, and I read Google reviews, and they say that the Seven Bridges Trail is not marked with the sign Seven Bridges Trail, but instead you look for 622, so let's go this way. All right, and this is the sign that says seven bridges is this way. Oh, and someone wrote a seven over here and a seven B over here for seven bridges. So all these vandals are, are the most helpful vandals in the world. <laughs> all right, let's go. You know what, the river water is not as bad as the Zapata Falls one. It's cold but not so bad. It's refreshing but not cold. Since it was very quick to the first bridge, we're going to try to go on at least a couple more. That thing is cat, 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 cool! Finding the Seven Bridges Trail is super hard, but once you do that, then there's blue flags to mark the trail. We're almost there, to the second bridge.
Oh man, it's a steep climb to the third bridge. So we checked around the corner to see if the third bridge is near, and apparently not. Which means we only got to see two bridges, but it was a pretty cool trail. I like this part where it's shaded, but walking from the parking lot to the trailhead is no bueno. And yeah, that's the Seven Bridges Trail. It's not bad. If you're looking for a nature walk close to Colorado Springs, then this might be one of the best. My favorite part is stepping into the creek. Yes, creek water, my favorite. Our final stop is Ghost Town Wild West Museum. This is a ghost piano, it's playing on its own. Here is a general store. There's a waffle iron, milk can, butter churn again. Oh, there's a mouse trap, foot warmer, wow. And a store coffee grinder in the middle. And there's a scary This is the jail. And it looks like someone is suffering in there. Uh-oh. Why does he have coins all over the ground? Here's another one of those Target things. It's 24 shots for 50 cents. We've seen these before. I think we should do it. This is the Bugle, which is the newspaper shop. Over here you can get your name in headlines or a wanted poster. This is a barber shop and even though there's no sign up there, I can tell by this thing. This is the hotel and inside, oh it's a bear rug. We see many of these animal rugs on the trip. This is the Wells Fargo Bank and post office also. And we press, press the button. Oh, he's and talking. Look, that guy's moving. There's a sign here that says, remember the good old days when you can mail a letter with a two cent stamp and a postcard with a penny? Wow. Let's head outside for Gold Panic. <music> Lastly, don't forget to check out the gift shop before you leave. And that is the Ghost Town Wild West Museum. Brother, what did you like about this place? I like the shooting gallery. Yeah, the shooting gallery was fun. It was only 50 cents. And there's a lot of other activities you can do, like getting your name on a newspaper, and there's gold panning. The gift shop was also pretty cool in particular because we were able to get a lot of Colorado souvenirs. It's almost the end of our trip, so we just needed like those magnets. So it was really nice to have a lot of Colorado stuff in there. That is the end of our day. Please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos.